Yeah, so that was um, a retrospective analysis that we did within the um, Infectious Complications Committee of the Spanish Transplant Group and Cellular Therapy Group. And basically we were looking at the effect of this third shot in patients with hematological malignancies uh, both transplant and non-transplant patients that had already uh, gone through COVID-19. The major problem, well, there are several problems when talking about COVID-19 infection and immunosuppressed patients. Uh, the first one, of course, is the higher uh, mortality that COVID-19 infection has in patients with hematological malignancies. Uh, another important aspect is the fact that these patients uh, are not as well immunized um, when they are vaccinated uh, if we compare them with the general population of people. And basically because of that, the uh, immunological effect that going through COVID-19 infection has in the capacity of the patient to produce antibodies against the virus is still, um, uh, let's say, um, uh, questionable. And because of that, even uh, if in the general population of patients we make some differences in those that have had COVID-19 infection regarding um, the uh, next vaccination in immunocompromised uh, patients, this is really important because we cannot take for granted that just because they have been infected, they are uh, immunized against the virus.